of the cow work is for the horse and rider to exhibit control over a cow that's let out into the arena. The first thing that happens is the boxing phase where the rider steps up and exhibits control and proof that he can hold that cow on the short end of the, of the arena. Then the, the rider, after a sufficient time and showing its mastery over the cow, lets the cow and drives the cow down the long wall, gets at least one turn each way on the wall, and then takes the cow to the middle of the arena and circles it both ways. We are going to show you examples of what is an average cow work, a better than average cow work, and exceptional cow work. And the reason that these are scored the way they are as far as average and above average um, will be evident in these videos. This first rider comes up to start the box. Exhibits some control over the cow, but is not really getting up there and making the cow do a whole lot. He's being a little bit on the passive side while going ahead and fulfilling the requirements of the box, but it's not getting any extra points or credit, but it is fulfilling what the box is supposed to be. So this right here would be an average box and the start of an average run. To be a little higher degree of difficulty, the box should have been shortened up and should have gone a little sooner. Right there when the cow made a little move to go down the fence, this rider should have went ahead and let the cow go to get a little higher degree of difficulty. At this point, we're going down the fence. Cow's running just an average speed. The turn is pretty decent, exhibited control of it. Again, the cow is slowed down, but the horse is turning and doing his job as far as controlling that cow on the wall. Then we go to the circle and again the cow is not going super super fast but the rider is exhibiting control over that cow and doing what the pattern requires. That would be an average run. There was nothing particularly high degree of difficulty of it. The cow wasn't running real hard. She was not super close on her first turn down the fence. And that would be a very nice example of a very nice average run. The second run we're going to show you has a little higher degree of difficulty. The rider is a little bit more aggressive. The cow is faster. And they're trying to go ahead and make a little higher score by the more challenge of what the horse and rider have to do. And he's going to step up, and when the cow starts moving, he's going to make a little bit harder moves than the average run. And try and step up and get that cow to be moving a little faster. And to put a little higher degree of difficulty by adding the speed and the faster control. Now he's going to not box quite as long as the average run. Start his run down the fence. Cow is running faster. Horse takes that turn good, could be a little bit closer. 
Same thing with the second turn. The, the horse is getting in the ground really good. Just should be a little bit closer to that cow's nose for an outstanding run. But this is a definitely a higher degree of difficulty and a higher marking run than the average run. This rider is, is trying to exhibit control and using that degree of difficulty to his advantage by making that cow go down the fence quicker and going with a cow that has a lot more energy to it than the last cow. Now we're going to go see an exceptional run. This is a run that has a high degree of difficulty. The rider takes control of the cow right from the beginning. Steps up there, gets close to that cow, makes big moves, and is trying to get that horse to make as hard a move, get back to that head, get that cow stopped. The horse is very stylish. Everything's real attractive looking. The cow's making some move because the rider is close to that cow, getting some movement out of that cow more than what somebody that would stay another 10 feet back would do. She pushes that cow around the corner. Her cow's running at good speed. She gets a good turn. The cow comes off the fence. This horse rates great till she gets pushes that cow back on the fence. Shows a huge degree of difficulty there. Her turns are very, very pretty. Horse gets in the ground good. The horse is never more than a couple feet from that cow. She circles tight and close to that, that cow. The horse is right on it. Minimal help from the rider. She's just encouraging that horse to get to the head. And everything shows total control over that cow. These are the kind of maneuvers that everybody wants to have in their run. Not every run is going to be an exceptional run. But if your horse is functionally correct, you're going to get scored as high as the cow will allow you. Some cows are only 70 cows, 71 cows, and you can do as best you can and maybe, maybe step a point over that. But these exceptional runs, you've got to stay really tight, really close to your cows, and you have to have some courage when that cow is on the box and it's looking for some place to go, you need to let it go and go ahead and go down the fence at some, at some speed and have a huge degree of difficulty. You're going to get a lot higher score when you do that. To have a run that's an excellent run or an above average run or even the average run, takes years and years of practice. This is an event that you have to w want to truly understand the psychology of the horse and the cow and understand what you need to do to control the cow. There's simple steps that you need to do at the beginning that are real building blocks from one step to the other and it takes years to have the type of run that was in the excellent category or the above average category. Uh, it is an absolutely a fun, fun event. The horses are really, really easy to ride. Everybody thinks they're hard to ride on those fence turns, but it's actually a very, very smooth move. And it is just an absolute blast. And anybody can learn to do it with the right horse. The key is having a forgiving horse that can take some of the beginner's mistakes and just roll with it and go on and come back to what they're trained to do um, even though the rider has made some mistakes. The, the horse is key and just a nice slow progression from um, the beginning from when you start to learn how to, how to do this event to the final end when you can go ahead and mark a 75 down the fence. There's nothing that feels better.